So, what's up, guys? Um, hopefully, you're all having a good day, anyway, a good day at least. So, let's talk um, about the Inum. So, they. Um, all I will say for them is they need to be careful when editing videos and stuff. Because sometimes they do tend to leave things in videos that uh, certain things tend to go, uh, tend to be missed or tend to go unnoticed. Now, Sarah Inham recently uploaded a TikTok video the other day. Um, it was like a Halloween uh, boo basket video that she did. Um, and the video wasn't too bad. However, at the end, towards the end of the video, Mila appeared on camera and she had no clothes on. She was basically completely naked. Now, I don't know if Sarah was fully aware that she had accidentally shown that, if she had accidentally, I'm not sure if she was aware that she had accidentally shown Mila with no clothes on, you know, or if she was aware that Mila had appeared on camera with no clothes on or anything like that. But yeah, she caught that on it and unfortunately it's not even if she does go, if she does go and kind of take that video down now. It's too little too late because a lot of people will already have seen that. You know, a lot of people will already have seen that TikTok video where towards the end of it, her child, her three-year-old daughter has appeared on camera with no clothes on. You know, and it's scary how it, it, how things like this, you know, it's becoming more of a common thing, you know, for things like this to be being... Unno to be going unnoticed or to be, you know, or that it seems like they're not aware that things like that have been left in the vaults or, you know, things are being, or things like this are being missed. You know, I reported the, vlog, the, reported the video in particular. Um, I don't know if that would do anything because um, I, don't know, I, don't know, I don't know if anything will come of that. But, you know, it is a bit of a disgusting thing, you know. Um... And I just think to myself, like, they need to be a damn sight more careful. Like, I was, you know, I, I did see it originally. I did see it. Um, and I was going to actually comment on the video and warn Sarah that she had shown her child with no clothes on. But I was worried that if I posted a comment uh, uh, saying, oh, you know, you've shown your child, you've shown your three-year-old daughter with no clothes on or whatever people would jump on me and, you know, would jump on me and would think that I was, it was a bit weird that I was taking notice of that or that I was paying so much attention to that, you know. Because that's the thing. Like, if you were to comment that and say, oh, well, you've shown your three-year-old child naked in the video, you would probably get someone jumping on you saying, well, why are you paying so much attention to that, to that anyway, you know. But it's hard not to pay attention to things like that. Or, you know, obviously, you know, if anybody did have common sense, they would have warned her and said, hey, you know, you've shown. Um, I was actually expecting there to be quite a few video uh, comments on the video itself for, um, warning Sarah that she had, actually, she had accidentally shown Mila with no clothes on. I don't know if anybody actually noticed this. I mean, it, well, I was say it was a difficult thing to notice. It was quite an easy thing to notice that Mila had appeared on camera with no clothes. You know, this is why I'm always saying that they need to be more careful when uploading stuff and things like that. You know, they need to be checking things thoroughly to make sure that nothing has been left in that shouldn't be in the vaults. You know... It's like she's put this TikTok video out there and she's completely, you know, she's completely unaware of the fact that she has shown that in the videos. I think she, that she has accidentally uploaded, that she has actually uploaded a video where her three-year-old child has appeared on camera with no clothes on, completely naked. You can see that she had no clothes on. It wasn't, you know, completely that hard to see. And... That's unfortunate. Unfortunately, that's now out there for the whole world to see. 
you know, if she wasn't being careful when she was editing the video or if she didn't check to make if she didn't check the video before she put it out there, you know, she put that video out there, she's not checked to make sure nothing like that was actually in the video. You know, I mean, was she even aware that Mila was there? Did she even know that Mila had walked into the shop or whatever and had no clothes on or whatever or walked and then appeared on camera like that? You know, I only hope that if people did warn her about it, did warn her about that and said, oh, you know, you've shown your three-year-old child in the, vlog, uh, in, the, in the video with no clothes on that she would take it down. But I feel like it's a little bit kind of too little too late for her to take it down because so many people have already seen it. But, you know, it, it is a bit, it is, you know, it is concerning how it's becoming a regular occurrence now that things like, you know, that things like this are being missed or they're going unnoticed or whatever. You know, it just shows that they're not being careful enough. And this is not, this is my complaint with not just the Inhams in general, but with a whole, you know, with a lot of the family vloggers, is that they're not being careful about what they're putting out there and what they're showing in their vlogs. And or what they're showing, in, you know, showing in their videos and everything, etc, etc. And the Inhams are a prime example of that. You can see that they're not being careful enough. When they're, you know, when they're editing the vlogs and, 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 and things like that. They're not being careful enough. You know, she's put that video out there on the public social media, uh, on her TikTok profile. You know, it's not a private, that's not a private profile. Anyone can see that. You know, there are, there, you know, anyone can click on that video. And when they click on that video, they're going to see that, they're going to see they, uh, her three-year-old daughter with no clothes on. If she's not being, you know, if she wasn't being careful, you know, that's what they're gonna say. That you know, if they were to hit on that, what they if they hit on that video, you know, they're gonna see that footage of they're gonna see her three-year-old child completely naked with no clothes. On. You know, and I'm thinking to myself now, like, but is she even aware that she's shown that? Does she know that 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 Mila appeared at and that Mila accidentally appeared on camera in that video with no clothes on? You know, I would hope that she. You know, I would I, like. I, I just. You know, it would sit him me if she knew that if she was if she was aware of that and she'd still put that video out there. But as it feels, this is the thing. Like, I just feel like, I just feel to myself like, was she actually fully aware of this? Fair with me, I'm not gonna get an annoying buzz and fly out of my room. <laughs> oh, look, look, here, have it. Have it. Uh, I think it's flowing out. I hope. Oh, look, look, 
I mean, how, this is not, it's like, this isn't, I wouldn't mind if it was like the first time that they'd accidentally done something like this. But it's like, how many times now <laughs> have they uploaded vlogs and, you know, had to blur, had to take vlogs down and edit things out or blur things out because they, you know, blur things out, you know, as they're not being, obviously they're not being fucking careful when they're editing the vlogs, you know, and... You know, Sarah obviously wasn't being careful enough when she was uploading this TikTok video because you know, you know she'd actually failed to notice the fact that she has shown her to her three-year-old daughter naked at the end of that previous video, at the end of that video that I was just mentioning and I was just talking about. You know, it's it, it is concerning. You know, the fact that you know when you think about the fact that so many people obviously would have seen that. You know. It, it actually shocks you to think that a lot of people, you know, it stares you to think about who might have actually seen that. Like, because they're probably, but they're probably, I won't say they're right, you know, that there's pedos that watch Sarah's TikTok videos, but you won't mind. It, it's like, she just has to be careful when editing things, you know, to make sure that things like that don't happen. You know, I'm hoping that she'll be a lot more careful in future when it comes to future videos. Hopefully she'll be a lot more careful, um, you know, to make sure that things like that are not shown on camera. You know, um, I would hope that she's not fully... I hope that she's aware of the fact that she's shown that in the vlogs, you know. But, you know, it, it's just... It's, it scares you to think that, you know, they've shown their child, their, their three-year-old child completely naked, you know, and, you know, she's putting, like, she, it, it, like, they've not, she's not, it's seemingly, that's kind of seemingly gone unnoticed, it's like, you sit there and you think to yourself, it's like, how is something like that gone unnoticed, how is something like that been missed, you know, how, how is Sarah not noticed that she's shown that in the video, how is she not noticed that her three-year-old child has appeared on has appeared on camera with no clothes. How has she missed that? You know, it, because it wasn't an, it wasn't a hard or difficult thing to miss. It wasn't a, it wasn't a, a, you know a difficult thing not to. It wasn't something that wouldn't. It's not something that would go unnoticed unless you were kind of actively looking for that. You know, it was very clear to see. That Mila had walked onto the, that Mila had appeared on camera with no clothes on. And you honestly, like, I don't know what to say for them. Like, they're just not being careful enough. And this is what really, this is what is really starting to kind of piss me off a little bit. It's the fact that Chris and Sarah are not being careful enough about what they're showing on camera, you know. And they really need, all I can say for them is they really need to start being a damn sight lot more fucking careful than they're being. Because if they were being, let me put it this way, if they were being more bloody careful, a bit more bloody careful, things like this, but things like that wouldn't be being shown on, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't actually, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be being put out there, would they? You know, I only hope that she, re you know, that she took, that somehow or another she finds out that she's shown that in the vlog and, and that's and that, and in that video and takes it down. That would be the most sensible thing to do, would be to take the video down, you know, when you consider the fact that she's shown that in the vlogs, it's not, you know, in the video, it's kind of, you know, concerning. So, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you for another one uh, very soon. Bye-bye, guys.